Hi, I am Apoorva Sheth and I welcome you to yet another insightful episode of The Right Choices with Oracles of Dalal Street. For almost one and a half years, we have been relentlessly producing episodes after episodes where we invite market experts with who share insightful and actionable strategies with you. In the last week, we were speaking with Krish where he explained how he trades straddles and strangles for Nifty and Bank Nifty on an intraday basis. Today, we are going to dive deeper into the backtest results of these strategies. So let's begin this episode. As you know, we are having uh, a lot of websites to do the back test. Hmm. We have a stock mark, we have algo test, we have uh, recently one new uh, back testing platform came to the uh, public. And this is what the back tested result of this straddle, hmm. which I have done in stock mark. Hmm. The per lot I'm taking only one lot, I'm not taking the too many lots into consideration. I'm taking straddle for one lot it was taking around i i completely explained the rules and i have back tested this one in stock market sorry stock market and estimated margin will be around 1.8 lakhs for this straddle on any day on an average so you need to maintain at least two lakhs in your pocket to make this strategy so if you want and to need one one lot each for calls and puts you need yes call and put you need to maintain at least two two lakh rupees okay so better keep another 50,000 for a uh, longer duration edge. That's what my suggestion to you. Okay. And then uh, this, this is the four years back tested data. We have data from 2017 as well, but uh, uh, the market condition has changed a lot from 2019. Till 2018 market was in a sideways trend. Mm -hmm. So I have back tested this thing from 2019 uh, till yesterday. And the overall return it generated as per the back test, it was around 2.02%. Okay. In last four years. And average profit day was around 519 rupees. And max profit in a single day, it was around 13,837, which is around 7.71%. Mm -hmm. And max loss it generated around 12,000, which is around 6.73%. So winning percentage in Stadel, uh, it was around 72%. And last days were as around 28%. Average monthly profit is generated around 4.37%. And average profit on winning days was around 1%, hardly. And average on last days, it looks like a bit higher when you compare with profit. 1.5%. Lot size is 2. And max drawdown will be 20% in Stadel. That's what I mentioned. Uh, the more risk, more, more profit you will get in Stadel. Hmm. The probability also is there, but that I don't like this part because that if my twenty uh, percent of the capital has been wiped out, I I'm I I'm not feel well, right? Most of the people. So I just want to control this thing that I will explain how to do with a mixture of strangle and strangle. Hmm. So if 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 the drawdown goes anything about twenty percent, it you uh, start becoming restless and question the strategy. No, no, no. Why you are why you have to wait 20%? Because even though if we lose a 10% of our capital, we will get question ourselves. Mm. Forget about 20%. I'm saying the strategy have more drawdown, but success ratio is very high. Yeah. So that we have to control to some other system. That I will explain. Okay. Yeah. The return on uh, max drawdown ratio, which is around 3%. So let's say if the drawdown happened, that will recover three times of the ratio. And max winning days, which is around 12 days, continuously in a row, it uh, given you the profit of 12 days in last four years. Hmm. And max losing stick, continuously you made a loss of four days. And expectancy was around 0.2% hardly. It's out of five times you will get win one time only. But winning ratio is very high. And both sides, SLs didn't trigger, which is around 180 trading session. That means out of... Uh, one, one year we have 200 trading sessions, right? Out of four years, we have 800 trading sessions. Nearly 20, 25% of the time, both sides SL couldn't trigger. That's the beauty of this strategy. And one side SL got triggered, 
four seventy or four seventy days, and on both sides hardly fifty days in eight hundred eight eight hundred trading session, hardly fifty time fifty times, both sides SL get triggered. So only fifty days were such that there was very high volatility and your stops got triggered. Yes, yes, yes. So that that's what uh, it was showing, and I have included the. 60 uh, 50% sl on monday and 60% sl on tuesday uh, 70 70% on sl on wednesday and th- thursday according to that uh, i just back tested this data okay then uh, we explained the straddle how, how to make the straddle and when to create it and when to exit it and uh, uh, what are the rules i just given everything in slide and this was the back tested results for that hmm. so We'll uh, look at this triangle back tested result, right? Yeah, look at here. This is this triangle. So we have a, a same kind of margin because the premium which we are choosing sometimes it will be out of the money, sometimes it will be in the money. On expiry, we will get in the money option only for two hundred rupees. Hmm. So what I am uh, taking here is a margin also sorry margin also same like a straddle. So again, you have to keep two lakhs, hmm. and profit here is. I said this thing: profit will be a profitability is more when you compare to study. Hmm. Look at here, which is that was showing around two hundred two percent. This was showing around two sixty six percent. Okay, hmm. and average profit. This is also higher compared to study. It is around six one point. And max profit is less compared to straddle because we are hardly collecting the premiums only. Hmm. And max loss is very much less when you compare to straddle. That that one is showing around six uh, to seven percent in a single day. Here it is hardly showing one point five percent. It is a max case, not an average case. One point five percent. And winning days when you compare with this uh, straddle, winning days are a bit less, sixty five percent. And losing days are thirty six percent, and average monthly return compared to straddle, this one is giving you a way better result. Mm. And average profit on winning days, which are as around one point eight percent, one point sorry one point zero eight percent, which is around eighteen hundred and sixty two, and average loss is below one percent. Mm. And look at the drawdown here. The straddle was showing twenty percent drawdown. Here it's hardly showing you five percent drawdown. Five to six percent drawdown. So that's what I say. I love to make a triangles for the direction because the uh, risk is lesser, reward is higher. Reward is higher. Yeah, when you come when you compare with a drawdown compared to straddle, which is three times more than straddle. Return on drawdown in straddle it's hardly three percent, a point three percent. Here it was around twelve point three percent, but here also we have max winning days of twelve days, max losing days same four days. Expectancy was increased a bit hmm. because in straddle we have expectancy of point two percent. Here we have nearly point four percent, and look at here we are as we are playing for a directional, we are hardly getting a SL trigger on one side, hardly thirty seven days in last four years. Okay, and one side SL got triggered more than fifty percent of the time because we are playing for the target, and both sides SL got triggered two sixty times. I mean, uh, which is around thirty percent. Thirty percent of the time it will trigger your all yes sir, but remaining seventy percent of the time it will give the profit. Okay. So this is what the back test result, and if we include both these systems, straddle and triangle, combination of straddle and triangle. Hmm. That result will change your uh, drawdown a lot. And one more strategy I want to mention here, I I just forgot to add the, that thing in slide. I will tell you because as we know, market will open at nine fifteen, right? There is a, a spread difference always is there when the market is open because the once the market is open, a lot of people are start to jump in. Hmm. So because of Those inflows from each and every one, the premiums were not stable at the open, right? Mm. 
so what we have to do at that time here we are making 91 stone straddle right and we are making strangle for at 935 935 so we are look at this we are uh, taking 4 lakhs of margin for both right so what my suggestion to everyone is we have a 20 minutes of time in between when we are making a straddle and strangle right hmm. so take the advantage of that enter one more straddle at 916 916 before we are entering the regular straddle that is that trade is only for 20 minutes okay enter that straddle at uh, 916 and keep a sl of 1250 rupees per lot on both sides okay 1250 rupees on one straddle mm-hmm. so keep the same target for the same straddle 1250 rupees target 1250 rupees sl enter the trade at 916 exit the trade at 930 mm-hmm. okay in that one also you will make a some bit of return it will reduce your drawdown a lot okay even, even uh, initial uh, money flow will create a lot of iv in the market that iv will get crushed in next 15 20 minutes hmm. so use that advantage it will give you additional edge to your stash okay so that's i already included in the back test so this is what the final result will be okay and i have removed the friday and i have removed the uh, tuesday from the system mm. and i am making opening straddle one more straddle because we are having a 20 minutes time to execute this triangle so i'm just just taking the edge mm. and uh, we'll explain the final back test results here uh, we required 4 lakhs of capital to do all these three strategies and overall profit will be 369% in last 4 years this is the back test table we need to uh, consider brokerage slippage and everything after that yeah so profitability got increased to uh, 0.41% from 0.35% mm-hmm. and max profit which is around uh, 5.41% and we have included the strangle and straddle right mm-hmm. so here the loss got reduced look at this max loss because we are doing this straddle at a 6% max loss strangle at 1.5% max loss we are taking average of both it is it will came at 3.353 that was the max loss so i think for straddles the loss was around 18000 rupees or something like that so yes so that max loss has got reduced yes because we are making a strangle with a lesser risk right the total strategy it was showing five i'll tell you why it's five because wednesday we are keeping a wednesday and thursday we are keeping a different kind of stop loss and straddle that will take one more uh, eventually like one more strategy in back testing hmm. and uh, tuesday uh, monday also i'm taking 50% sl there we completed two strategies uh, one more tuesday i'm taking 60% three strategies strategy is one only based on the excel situation the number the of strategy. strategies are decided so based on yes, that yes. it is yeah it differing and i am adding one more strangle and i am adding opening trade totally put together five trades right mm-hmm. and look at the drawdown part here from 22 it came down to almost uh, nearly 7% mm-hmm. in strangle it was around 5.41% but in straddle it was at 20% nearly it was came down to 7% hmm. so i am ready to take the drawdown of 7% if, it, if the drawdown is more than 7 8% then every trader in option selling they were unable to digest those losses yeah so this is what the good part when you are controlling the drawdown and look at one good part here the return on max drawdown was increased a lot hmm. 15.57% and max winning days also and max losing days also nearly same and my expectancy goes to 0.55% so i am winning out of 100 times i am winning 55 times and 45 times i am losing when i am losing i am losing this much when i am winning i am gaining this much on an average 
and uh, these are all the winning streak 10 times winning streak in a row one time 11 times one time 12 times and continuously 12 days continuously 13 days one time continuously losing two times which has happened 42 times 10% of the time and three times losing happened 11 times four times losing happened one time five times losing happened one time so this is the final back test result so your losing streaks are much smaller like five days continuous losing streak is only once yes mostly the yeah that is a uh, that is a good part we have to control the drawdown first when we are controlling the drawdown eventually it will lead to the profits hmm. right yeah. so till now we have seen the straddle and strangle back tested result and final result result i will show you the monthly summary hmm. this is a monthly summary so from 2019 uh, i just tested from 2015 uh, 19 because uh, a nifty options introduced from 2015 uh, by default it took the from the february okay uh, we hardly had two months of negative two of negative months mm. two months only in last four years may was an exception you can call it as a zero zero return mm. it's hardly 0.08 percent and only we got a issue in november 2021 this why this happened i'll tell you uh, in a matter of 10 seconds bank nifty moved 500 points up and down in just a matter of 5 seconds that's happened in november 2021 so because of that only we it was showing this kind of a loss and on an average here uh, in 2019 it was generated around 88% 2020 it was generated around 128 percent. 2021 it generated around 89 percent, and this year it was continuing with 63 percent till date. Hmm. And despite of all the volatility in the market, in this year there is not even a single month was in loss. Hmm. So that's the beauty of combination and strangle of straddle. And one more thing I want to mention here: here in March 2020 it was showing 25 percent profit because uh, in Corona fall. it was given a lot of profit because of the higher premium i am not considering these two months as a real profits april and march hmm. because wicks went up to 80 in those kind of situation we any kind of a trader unable to control the risk management yeah so just take out of these uh, two from the chart it is around 35% even if you remove the 35% it was generating around 89 or 80 something hmm. 85 89 something so in all shocks any kind of a market it was able to manage risk okay so do the combination of straddles and strangles based on the some uh, prominent times because if the strategy known to the public like a 920 or whatever still 920 straddle is still giving the profit but you need to do modifications according to your risk management i'm not saying strategy is going to not work out. strategy will work out eventually results will come but market structures and conditions will change a lot so you will have to change your uh, strategies according to the changing market structures and conditions and yes. so once the fin nifty contracts were introduced so we saw a lot of volatility shifting from wednesdays and thursdays to tuesdays yeah right now i was i was uh, trying to uh, make some strategy for friday because we are not doing the straddle in friday and we are doing, we are not doing the strangle in tuesday hmm. that also i am trying to do some new strategy for tuesday and friday also that work is going on once that is completed uh, if you are permit once uh, i will try to explain that as well in upcoming series sure sure definitely i think uh, our viewers would love it uh, so we, we would lo- love to invite you to our show and you know again uh, discuss the strategy yeah sure apurva Uh, Krish, thanks a lot for uh, sharing your insights and sharing your time with us. I am sure that a lot of our uh, viewers would be happy to, uh, you know, implement this strategy in their own trading. But uh, I would also like to give a small caveat over here that uh, to our viewers that whatever you uh, 
सी आउट हियर प्लीज एन्श्योर दैट यू गो एंड बैक टेस्ट इट इंटरनलाइज योर द सिस्टम्स विच आर बींग शेड ओवर हियर एंड दिस इज जस्ट अ स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट सो क्रिएट समथिंग आउट ऑफ दिस ऑन योर ओन दिस विल गिव यू गुड गाइडेंस बट दिस इज नॉट द कंप्लीट थिंग देर आर लॉड ऑफ ट्रायल एंड एरर्स एंड ऑब्वियसली क्रिस विल ऑल्सो अग्री दैट देर आर ऑल्सो मॉडिफिकेशन विच वी हैव टू डू यू के नॉट स्टिक विथ वन सिस्टम थ्रू आउट आर लाइफ बिकॉज देर आर लॉड ऑफ मार्केट लेवल चेंजेस विच आर हैपनिंग सो वी हैव टू डू ऑल दोज थिंग्स एज वेल सो नाउ हैविंग सेट दिस नाउ क्रिश आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क अ फ्यू रैपिड फायर क्वेश्चन this is just to end on a different note normally all the traders are always involved uh, in markets and market is only thing that we discuss so uh, i thought let's i have this section so we know something more about you so my first question is what is the most favorite book that you would like to read or recommend in market i uh, love to recommend this book called uh, wake up market cycle theory Mm-hmm. even though till date i uh, read a lot of times maybe uh, 30 to 35 times till date i read that book but uh, even though if i'm open now also i feel uh, i'm starting once again fresh mm-hmm. so that kind of feeling it will give you and uh, believe me for a newbie you won't get any kind of understanding until you read at least 3 uh, to 4 times mm-hmm. and that is the one book which i love to read in market and when it comes to personal life uh, there is a book called uh, uh, alchemist written by paulo coelho yeah uh, try to read that when you are having a free time that will change your lot uh, uh, that will change your perception a lot regarding the life hmm. yeah that is that is a very good uh, book a uh, very popular book and i'm sure a lot of people would uh, have the same opinion so what is your most memorable day of your life in trading or in in, in, in general in life in general in life uh, it's not about the memorable life uh, i just want to share the day when i went to bankruptcy eventually i i have not shared this thing i when i went to bankruptcy in general uh, there are if if you are doing something wrong we, uh, your parents also will get a Uh, some get of angry on you right mm. but on that day uh, like other parents my father never said to just stop and uh, do some other work he said you lost here if you are finding some value if you are finding the future if you are able to find the future uh, in your life with stock market you just continue to learn and just grow with that that's what the suggestion i got from my father mm. uh, till date even though if uh, every day he used to call me Uh, what he will say are you got some profit today are you got some loss today they don't ask anything whether you got the profit or not are you feeling comfortable or not that's the only thing they will ask mm-hmm. and i never forget that day when i went to that uh, depression you know these all things happened in just a matter of one year i lost so much of money i just uh, fed up with uh, family and friends you you will just find out the value when you are with empty pockets yeah. so empty pockets teaches you more than uh, yes. full pockets yes and yes. they will tell you who your real friends uh, are yeah now nowadays uh, uh, frankly saying you there is no uh, family friends there is no schoolmates or classmates they are not in my life right now because of that situation it took me here and uh, i am just uh, not uh, i'm just not trying to connect with them even they are trying Hmm. Okay. So, uh, what is one life lesson that you would like to share with all of us? Uh, life lesson. I just want to tell you this thing. Uh, people will think a stock market is gambling. Trading profession is a gambling. They will think like the boss. You have to think it everything as a business. Trading is a business. Investing is a business. Like uh, all other asset class. The day you thinking in a business way. that's where you will get realized okay there is a potential to grow in a market as well if you feel like that then your mindset and psychology and perception will change a lot not only in stock market also in personal life as well mm. if you are a, if you are become a professional in stock market you can control the all the emotions in your personal life as well 
Cool. So that is really good advice for all our uh, viewers. Take investing and trading both as a business rather than just a uh, just a you know fun sake or a lot of people take it as a fun sake or gamble or just yes, yes. for thrill. So if you want to get some thrill, go to Vegas rather than coming to stock markets. <laughs> Why we have to go to Vegas? We have Goa here only. Goa here is <laughs> So that's all. Thanks a lot, uh, uh, Krish, for uh, sharing your uh, insights. Uh, I'm sure uh, all our viewers would uh, love to see you once again and uh, you know learn more from you. Yeah, well, I just want to mention the last thing. Guys, don't feel bad if my English and Hindi was not good. <laughs> you have really hardly spoken any Hindi. So no worries. No, 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 no. Abhi thoda baat kar dunga. Koi problem nahi. Aap thoda type perfect karega. So ek hi ato. No worries. No worries. Thank you, Abhurva. Thank, uh, thanks for the, giving this opportunity to me. Looking forward to meet you once again. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. So in this episode, we have learned how Krish does his options selling primarily with straddles and strangles. So he has given us simple rules to implement in our uh, option selling. So for straddles, he has uh, given us a few rules and for strangles, he gave us a few rules. And we also saw uh, backtested results for the strategy since 2019. So uh, and we have also seen a combination of both these uh, strategies, which Krish has just spoken of. So I am sure that this episode will have given you a lot of insights into options trading and primarily straddles and strangles. So look forward to more such insightful episodes from us and see you again next week. Thank you. Open interest increases, price also increases, which is called as long buildup. And open interest increasing, price decreasing is called as short buildup. These two are trending trend. ये दोनों एक ट्रेंड में चलते हैं